Christina and today I'm back with another Etude House haul video and first I'm gonna show you the less exciting products that I got which they are in their regular line that they don't go away at all and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other products that are from a limited edition line which is the Dreaming Swan collection so I'm really excited for those products but I'm just gonna show you the less exciting first and then the most exciting at the end so let's just get right into the products so the very first less exciting product is this AC Clinic Intense Liquid Spot and the reason why I got these is because I was running out of my trouble spot treatments so I decided to give this one a try because I have heard a lot of reviews about these. I've been kind of eyeing this product or this line for quite a while, so finally I got my hands on it. The thing about this is that it has kind of like a sponge where you press it onto your trouble spots and since the product is watery, it will absorb into your skin really, really fast. Um, it does have a really strong herbally smell to it, but it doesn't bother me, but it might bother some people. I don't know, but ever since I started using it, and I actually just started using it like 3-4 days ago, I've noticed that my trouble spots have become less swollen and they've kind of reduced in size and the redness kind of went down as well. So I really recommend this product for anybody that has trouble spots or just wants to try something new. The next product is actually from the same AC Clinic line and this is the Red Spot Balm. It comes in this pretty big box, but the reason is because there's two products in here. There's a face wash and the actual balm. So when you open it, it comes in a little plastic container to prevent the product from moving. This right here is the face wash and this is just a trouble size. The balm comes like these and the jars for these products, this line is actually glass. So it is quite sturdy and quite heavy. Um, the balm looks like that and it is closed because I still haven't started using it but from what I can tell the balm is actually a white heavy looking cream and this is basically for your red spots um, to kind of get rid of the redness and make the swollenness go down as for this one this is just like a um, fast working kind of soothing liquid the next product is a puff and this is just for the BB cushion so I just got an extra one. The next thing is these Skin Malgum toner and I got this toner because I am almost running out of the toner that I have so I decided to give this one a try. And this one is in the fresh, fresh type because there are other toners to target different type of skins and this is an oil control toner basically for trouble skin or combination skin like mine so I decided to get this one and it comes in this really clean box and the bottle is pretty big the bottle is actually plastic so it's not going to break if you drop it um, the toner is just transparent it's kind of watery more on the heavier side than water it has the aluminum foil to prevent it from leaking and also to make it last longer if you do decide to store these instead of start using it right away. I got these puff and brush cleaning mist and the reason why I got these is because sometimes I tend to be kind of lazy to clean my brushes so I decided to buy these and give it a try and I actually did try it and I've been loving this product because it's really easy to clean your brushes and it just takes a few seconds. Basically you just spray it onto your brushes and then get a paper towel and kind of like brush all of the excess product on it and your brushes should be clean. So I really highly recommend you to try something like a mist cleaning brush because it will save you a lot of time. The next product is a BB cushion and this is just the refill. This is the Precious Mineral Magic Any Cushion, which has SPF 34, and this is in the green or mint version because I have a lot of redness on my face, so green actually neutralizes the redness, and I decided to get it to try it out since I've never tried any BB cushion from a tooth house before. And the reason why I got a refill, I'm going to tell you right now. 
the refill was to use with this case and this is from the drawing swan drawing why do i keep saying that it's from the dreaming swan collection and there were three designs for the cushion case and i chose the purple one which has these really pretty ballerina design and it doesn't really make sense to buy just a case that's why i bought a refill cushion to put it into this case to use it but the quality of this cushion it is just hard plastic um, it doesn't have the weight as the iop or the laneige cases have since those are more on the higher end side of cosmetics. The next product I got from the Dreaming Swan collection was this really cute powder brush and it came in a packaging like these. And the collection only had one brush. It's really cute, it has pink all over, it has kind of like a tutu dress covering the bristles. And the bristles are pink and they're really really soft and I like how the shape of this brush is rounded because it makes it easier for you to apply powder around your nose or on the really hard to get areas like around your eyes so yeah i'm really excited to try this product i wish there were more other brushes because i would have gotten them i have some etude house brushes that i've been using and for the price i think it is quite decent and the bristles are not hard which you know how some bristles tend to stab you on the face when you apply it with that brush um, Etude House is not like that, it's actually really soft and it actually does what it's supposed to do. The next product I got is this Bailing Pact and it came in this really pretty box with the ballerina portrait there. And the packaging looks like this. It's actually quite heavy and I really do like the weight. It has this really pretty design here and when you open the case basically it has the puff here and the product is actually under here so it keeps the puff and the powder separate which i really really like i think it keeps it more hygienic and when you apply powder it's not all packed into your puff so you basically get the amount that you want and also another reason why i got this pack is because it has spf it only has SPF 25, but compared to the other powders that I have, they don't have any SPF, so that's actually one of the reasons why I got it. And there was only one shade, so I think it is kind of universal. I would suppose it's translucent. Let me see how it is. Um, the powder is a little bit on the wider side, but if you do blend it out into your skin, it should blend. And then moving on to the very last product that I got is the product that I was the most excited about. It is the Dreaming Swan Value Kit and in this box there are three items. And the reason why I got these is because it was cheaper to buy this kit rather than buy the individual products. And unfortunately I couldn't choose the colors of the products that came in here since it was already pre-selected. But um, when I saw it on the photos online, I didn't mind the colors. I thought they were actually quite pretty. So opening this box, there's a pouch that comes in here. And this pouch is really cute. It has the ballerina theme here again with the little tutu dress. And when I open it, the lining inside has flower prints and there's a lipstick here. And the lipstick that came in this was the OR225, which is an orangey coral shade. The packaging is similar to their other lipsticks, except for the matte cream finish and the white bow. And also inside there's like ballerina shoes all over the rim. The color is this really pretty orangey coral and... Oh, it's really pretty. This is the first time I'm swatching it, so... Yeah, I really like it. it it's kind of like for an everyday look um, it's not too bright not too neutral and it smells like roses I actually really like using more bright colored lipstick rather than neutral lipsticks then in the pouch um, there's kind of like a separation in here which you would take off and in here there's another product and this is the eye and cheek. This is a product that it's multi-use basically you can use it on your eyes or on your cheeks so 
when you open it there is a tin container and it has ballerina shoes here then opening this up there is a really pretty cute puff to apply the puff as kind of I would say a blush but you can also use it as an eyeshadow the color is this pretty coral shade but let's see how it looks the color I don't think this would work as a blush because it's way too shimmery and way too pale yeah it's too sheer so I would use this as a highlighter instead of as a blush or as an all over eyeshadow so yeah that's how the color looks I don't know if you can see it and I don't think I don't know if the camera is catching the color so that is all for these Etude House haul I hope you guys enjoyed watching it I'm gonna link the website in the info box below I did get all the products from the Etude House official website so far that I've seen these products and I've kind of swatched the products I am pretty pleased and I'm pretty happy with what I got the only downsides would be I guess the packaging for some like the cushion case the plastic it's not really it doesn't really have a good weight to it but other than that I am excited to try all of these products uh, if you have any questions about anything that you saw in this video please comment down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for more haul videos and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet i'll see you guys in my next video bye